Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sapaha. Today we are going to discuss again a very very simple topic yet very confusing that what is the difference between complain and FIR. FIR and complain are usually a confused word and they are most commonly used wrongly by most of the person. They do not understand the, that there is a difference between the two. So let's understand the meaning of FIR first. Now what is FIR? FIR as the name indicates it is first information report. That means if there is any offense has been committed then it is a duty of any citizen to go to the police station and explain and narrate everything to the concerned police officer about the incidents. Now who can go to the police station? He may be the aggrieved person also, he may be witness also or any other person who is, an, who is having a knowledge that which type of offense has been committed and how it is committed. He can go to the police station and he can lodge FIR. So after writing all information which has been given by that person, again it is a duty of the police officer to read in a clear language in front of that person what he has written so that that person can cross check whether all the information which is given by him is being written in that manner only how he said. So after listening that particular information which he has given now the third thing is he has to sign on that document and there is a signature of the concerned police officer also now as far as complaint is concerned it is always filed in front of a magistrate now there are two ways the first one is if any person is having any problem against anyone he can go to the police station and he can uh, 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 file a complaint and later on that complaint will be forwarded by the police officer to the magistrate where the police officer is a complainant on behalf of the aggrieved person and second way is any person can go directly to the magistrate to file a complaint. Now the next thing is as I said that FIR can be lodged by any person either by the aggrieved party or aggrieved person or by the witness or any other person who is having a knowledge of that particular offense. Whereas if we talk about the complaint, complaint can be lodged or can be filed by any person that means by the aggrieved party or any person but there are exceptions also that come in the case of defamation and in the case of marriage the complaint can be filed only by the aggrieved person then the next difference is there is as i said that there is a prescribed format of fir but there is no prescribed format of a complaint now fir is usually for cognizable offense whereas if we talk about complaint it can be for cognizable and non-cognizable offense both so this is the difference between fir and complaint now i hope you understand the difference and like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel you may also follow us on our various social media platforms we are having a page on linkedin twitter facebook and instagram by the name of law colleague so thank you for watching see you soon bye bye